for details of the logic of this particular program as well as why we have used the logic I am going to show you, please take a look at the description of this video and you will find a link to the algorithm that is used to solve this particular problem. So what I am trying to do in this particular problem is there is a series which is 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 5 all the way till 1 upon n which is an endless series. Normally what is done is the value of n is given and I am asked to find the sum of the series. Here what it is trying to say is keep adding the individual term to sum as long as the value of the term is greater than 0 0.01. For example, what is the value of this term? This is 1. 1 upon 3 is what? 0 0.33. So this is still greater than 0 0.01. So 1 upon 5 is 0 0.2. So you will continue to keep adding these terms till this 1 upon whatever value is less than 0 0.001. That's when you will really stop. So what I'm going to do is I have used i to keep track of the denominator. It is going to start from 1. It's going to be 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. A floating point variable sum because 1 upon 3 is going to be 0 0.33. Sum cannot be an integer here. And term also has to be a real number because 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5 are going to be fractional or floating point results. Now what I am going to do is, I don't need to read anything from the keyboard. I don't need to ask the user what is the end term. Why I don't need to ask the user what is the end term? Because it's clearly said find the term, find the sum sorry as long as the value of the term is less than or equal to 0 sorry greater than or equal to 0 0.001. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say while term greater than 0 0.001. All right. Then next what we are going to do here is we are going to take the value of sum. What initial value of sum is 0. It is sum plus term. All right. So term is also initially 1 because the first term happens to be 1. Then what I'm doing is I need to see that I'm increasing the value of i by Two, because I want from i from 1 to go to 3, 5 and so on. After I increase the value of i, then I should recalculate the term for the next, next term. So I'll say it is 1.0 divided by i. So initially sum is 1, i becomes 3. Now 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33, term is 0 0.33. 0 0.33 is greater than 0 0.001. So it will keep adding the term to the sum but the minute the value of the term becomes less than 0 0.001 it's going to go ahead and print the sum of this particular series so what is going to happen is you're going to say sum of the series is percentage 6.2 f so let's try to run this particular program and see what really happens so what i'm doing here is it's showing some of the series as directly 4.09. So I'll just make it a little, little bit clear. So here you can see some of the series is 4.09. Now what I can do is in order to increase the accuracy of this sum, I can make it 0 0.01. So you will see the result is not going to change much because after decimal 0 0.001 is a very small number. But let's do it anyway. So it is 5.24. So it just changed it quite a bit, I would say, not little. It changed it quite a bit from 4.09 to 5.24. So this problem is different in the sense I am not reading the end point from the user. I am just told that the term should be greater than 0 0.001 or whatever it is. This 1 upon 3 is one term, 1 upon 5 is one term, 1 upon 7 is one term. Just to re-emphasize, in the description section of this video, you have a link to the algorithm which explains this complete process in very much detail including tracing the logic. Take a look at the algorithm if you are not understanding the logic of this particular problem.